Okay, so in this video we're going to integrate the imaginary value of z with respect to z within gamma. And gamma we're given is just a straight line from 1 to i. So how are we going to go about integrating this? Well, first of all, let's take a parameterization of this uh, line here and see where that takes us. So 1 to i. So there's 1 and there's i. So the line goes from here to here. So that's 1, that's i. That's the real, and up here is the imaginaries. So to parameterize this uh, line here, what we use, we use this formula. So we use gamma t equals starting point, which we'll call 1. That's where it starts from. So we'll use that 1 times 1 minus t. Then add on that finish point, which is i, and just multiply that by t. In t, t is in 0 to 1. And that gives us our parameterization. So if we put, plug in 0 for here, we start off with 0, with 0 i. Sorry, 0 in there, you get 1 and 0 i. At the finish point, plug in 1, you get 0 plus 1 plus i. So that's the correct parameterization for that one. So we can see here that this straight line here is a smooth path. There's no, no nothing in there to tell us anything other than that. And if we integrate this uh, function here, this gamma function, so we take the integral of gamma t. So what is the integral of this? So we just end up with minus t, sorry, minus 1. And i t just becomes i. So we can see that this derivative here is not zero. So as this function here has got a derivative that's not zero, and the function here is also continuous within t zero one, we can use the um, integral formula where we use parameterization. So basically the contour integral. So what we end up with now, instead of having this here now, what we can say, we go from in gamma, and we have f of gamma t, and multiply that by the integral of gamma t, and then it's dt. So now we're in the t world. So our parameters of uh, integration here, now to be with in where the, the ranges of t are. And we know that t goes from 0 to 1. So now we go from 0 to 1. f of gamma t. So f of gamma t is 1 minus t plus i t. And our integral, sorry, our derivative is minus 1 plus i. And that's dt. So the function we want to integrate on, which is where we go to next, is just want the imaginary values. So what is the imaginary value here? Well, all we're left with here is i t. So that just leaves us with t. So t is the imaginary value that's left. So basically all we're left with now is t minus 1 plus i dt. As you can see now we can integrate this quite easily. That's just a constant multiple. Just bring that out front and integrate t. Well, that's just pretty simple. So we end up now with t squared over 2 multiplied by minus 1 plus i. And we go from 0 to 1. Okay, when t is 1, this becomes a half. So it's minus 1 plus i times a half. And then when t is zero, this whole thing disappears. So basically, our answer is now going to be that will give us our answer t 
So our question there, minus one half plus I over two, and that's our answer in Cartesian form.